Alrighty. Um, I'd like to have a little moment of silence for the career of John Morrison that is dying right now. <laughs> See John Morrison on top of the world getting main event shots for the world title. He has all his fans. Uh, I love you, Jomo. You are cute. And um, then he just fucking crashed. Your whole Jomo world came crashing down when he got defeated by Vicky Guerrero. Uh, Excuse me, one, two, three, defeated by Vicky. I know it's fake, but come on. How is he supposed to come back from that? How can he be looked as a serious competitor that can defeat like a world champ and become the champ when Vicky beats him and the week after she comes out with his entrance, <laughs> mocking the shit out of him? Uh, how is he supposed to come back from that? He can't! He just can't! Did Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold, and The Rock get pinned by Vicky Guerrero? No! They would never do something like that because they know that it would jeopardize their stardom. So they don't think much of Morrison if they're making him lose to Vicky. Alright? And all this shit that's going on with him. Um, he snubbed Trish Stratus because apparently Melina was supposed to take the spot. Um, Stratus is like a veteran. Just because she's a woman or whatever, she is still like a real legit star in wrestling. And he's supposed to respect her according to the codes of wrestlers or whatever there. And he's an idiot. Trish is way better than him. Way better than Morrison. He sucks cock compared to her. She probably sucks cocks too, but you know what I'm saying. He sucks more than she does. <laughs> and him being upset because Melina probably told him to, to act like he's upset. Because he's a bitch. A fucking bitch who does what his woman tells him to do. Because he's a little bitch. And proof of this is the, the truth about how he was letting Batista sleep with his with Molina, who was his wife or girlfriend. Or what kind of a bitch is that? To let some other guy fuck your woman and not do anything about it. That is why they don't respect him. That is why he's losing <laughs> against Vicky Guerrero. Alright, because he's a fucking pussy. A pure fucking pussy. Uh, who cares if Batista's big? He could have grabbed a golf club like Tiger Woods' wife or something. <laughs> you know? This guy's letting him sleep with his woman. What a fucking bitch. Uh, at first I thought maybe, you know, maybe he watches them have sex because that's what turns him on or something. Maybe Batista gave him money because he's a big main eventer. But then apparently she also fucked Mike Knox. <laughs> Mike Knox. Alright, people talk about me having a beard. His beard was like this big. And she was fucking him. He looked like a fucking mental case. Morrison probably has a small penis if she's having sex with all these big buffed men that probably have a dick like this, you know what I'm saying? Morrison's dick is probably this big. What a pussy to let Mike Knox, a mid-carder, not even fucking medium level mid-carder, to fuck his own woman. That is fucking pathetic. John Morrison is a fucking loser, okay? And even McMahon doesn't respect him for this. Apparently, he also said that he doesn't look like he can kick anybody's ass. And that's true. If he's letting people fuck his woman, then obviously he's too scared to kick somebody's ass. Probably Hornswoggle is fucking Molina too. <laughs> Molina, ooh, you are so big compared to jo to Jomo. <laughs> 
So yeah, John Morrison is fucking pathetic. A lot of you think that he's going to become a big world champion or whatever. There's talk that people are going to get fired, so it wouldn't surprise me if he would get fired. Because, you know, he can do acrobatics, but he fucking sucks on the mic. He can't fucking, you know, he has no personality, so he, he can't really be a world champion. All the guys would hate him in like fucking two, three months. All the guys would hate him just as much as they hate Cena, that's what I think. Um, so yeah, Morrison might end up in TNA, cutting some very horrible promos, <laughs> just saying. Um, I also heard that Triple H is now in charge of the development talent. Uh, the man who is known for holding back young talent is going to be in charge of bringing them to the WWE. And it was written that uh, he's going to make sure they don't get brought up too early in their career. I can see that. <laughs> You've been in FCW for over eight years. Your time has come. Come on. You have a match with me tonight against the game. <laughs> oh, ish. You've been buried. You're going back to the miners. <laughs> buried. Then he's, he's going to be walking in the back. They're all going to be lined up. Triple H is going to walk and stare at him back and forth. You look like you're ready. Pulls out the sledgehammer. <laughs> breaks his kneecaps. See you in five years, bitch. Bury. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe he won't be like that. I don't know, but... I also heard that TNA is gonna be rebranding themselves. Maybe they're gonna turn this shit around. But apparently what they're going to do is focus on the word impact. That's going to be their branding. Focusing on the word impact. I guess it's going to be like cross the line. You're going to get some little uh, little interviews where they, they say the word impact by purpose. Tonight, brother. Going to put on impact, brother. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That impact! Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be in the back. I'm gonna make an impact! <laughs> the fuck out, huh? Fucking cheap ass company for fuck's sakes. So yeah, that's all I gotta say right now. Uh, John Morrison is a fucking bitch. Big time fucking bitch. Until next time, peace.